Hello students. Today we are looking at indices and um, we are going to solve for the unknown given in our, in our questions. Number one, 16 power X is equal to two. 16 power X is equal to two. Now, when you look at our base here, this is a base two, but this side we have base 16. Therefore, when we have a base which is um, not a prime base, first and foremost, we need to change the base so that it is a prime base and we do prime factorization. So 16 by two is eight, and then eight by two is four, and four by two is two, and finally two by two is one. This makes it now two to the power four X, because we had the X on the other side. And this side, we have two. Remember, any number without a power, it will always have power one. So now, when you look this side, we have base two, and the other side, we have base two. This means, since they are the same bases, so we can take the powers and equate them. And finally, in order to get x, we divide by four on both sides, and finally, our x is one, over, over four. Let's go to question number two. When you look at a question number two, you do realize that this side, we have 625, and this side we have base five. This means we need to change 625 to have prime, prime base. And if you do prime factorization, it goes by five. And that is 125 by five again, 25 by five again, five, and finally by five is one. This makes it five to the power of four is equal to five to the power of two X. Now that we have the same base, this side and that side, meaning even our powers four should be equal to the power two X. In order to get the value of X, we shall divide both sides by two. And finally, we get our X is equal to, to two. Next question. When you look at our next question here, this side, we have 81. 81 is not a prime number. So we need to prime factorize it so that we can, we can go ahead. So by three, we get 27. By three again, we get nine. By three again, we get three. And by three, we get one. This means 81, will now become three to the power four X, which is equal to one will now change. Remember, we are dealing with the same base. So one can change to any base to the power zero. Any base to the power zero. But because this side our base is three, also we make this side base is three. And finally, we take the powers to be equal and we divide by four on both sides in order to get the answer for X. Zero by any number, it will always remain zero. Next question, number four. When you look at our question four, we have got base eight. 
Best eight is not a prime number. We change it to prime number and it will be by two, four, by two, two, by two, one. Meaning it is two to the power of three. And then there is another power, which is two X outside. But remember, after the equal sign, we have one, which will become two to the power zero. Now this side, we multiply the powers inside and outside, and we get six X is equal to two to the power zero. Remember, same bases, meaning equal powers as well. Hence, we divide by six on both sides, and then our X is equal to zero. Now we got question five. If you look at question five, all the bases are two. And this two doesn't have power. It means it is to the power one. But look at this part here where we have two power x times two power x. Remember, if the two bases are multiplying, we will add the powers, which will be equal to power one. And x plus x, it will give us power two x which will be equal to two to the power one. Also now, this side is base two, that side is base two. This means we take two X, which is the power, is equal to one, which is the power. And to get X, we divide by two on both sides. And finally, our X will be half. We proceed to number six. Now, if you look at number six, this side, we have the main base as three. So if you have nine, we will change nine to base three. And our new question will be three power two X divided by three to the power of two is equal to three to the power of zero. Remember, when you have one, is always equal to any base to the power of zero. Now, look at three here, look at three here, and they are dividing, meaning we will subtract the powers this side, and it will be equal to three to the power of zero. Now, the base this side and the base this side are equal. So therefore, the power this side will also be equal to the power the other side. In order to get x, I will have to take negative two to the other side, and it will be zero plus two, giving us two. Hence, I divide by two on both sides, and this side, it will give me x is equal to one. Let's look at number seven. Number seven has a square root. And we know in indices, a square root changes to power a half. So therefore, we shall have five to the power a half divided by five to the power five X is equal, now 25, you also change it to the base of five. It will become five to the power of two. Now we have the same base. So this side here, we are dividing and we shall subtract the powers. So this will be power a half minus five X, which is equal to five, power two. Hence, the base this side is the same as the base this side. Because of that, we shall take a half, which is the base, the power, minus five X is equal to two. Here we need to find X. 
The easiest way here is to remove the base, to remove the denominator. In order to remove the denominator, I can multiply by two in all my parts. And hence, these two will cancel with these two, and I will have one here minus 10x, because here it will just multiply two times five, and is equal to two times two, which is four. The next, because this x is negative, I will shift to the side of four, and I will have one is equal to four plus 10x. And then I will also shift four to the side of one, and I will get one minus four is equal to 10x. Then when I subtract one minus four, I will get minus three is equal to 10x. I'm looking for x. And if I'm looking for x, so what I will do next is I will have to divide one second. All right. I have to now divide by 10, both sides. Divide by 10, divide by 10. And finally, I get my x is equal to negative three over, over 10. Last but not least, square root of two will become two to the power of half, multiply. Look at the denominator here, is two power x. If I take it up, I get two, to the power of negative x. And one will become two to the power of zero. So next, it will be two power a half. Because of multiplication, means I will add the powers of this side and is equal to the two power zero. Now that the bases are the same, this side, the base is two, and this side, the base is two. I will take the powers alone, and I will take negative x to the side of zero. I will have a half is equal to zero plus x, and finally now, x is equal to a half. So this is how we solve questions equations that involve indices and we follow all the indices laws. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.